Okay, so the bulk of you saying uh, gravitational potential energy. Some of you saying, oh, they're scattered around other things. Um, did the gravitational potential energy of the mass decrease? Is that one of the answers? How would I know if it decreased? Because the height went down. The height decreased, so the gravitational potential energy of the mass decreased. Anyone have a problem with that one? Yeah? Well, you've doubled the mass, so... I've doubled the mass. The decrease in your height, I don't know if that necessarily changes the overall amount of energy. So, so here's another one of those situations. Here's the... You have an equation. Gravitational potential energy is m times g times the height. And you might think that m changed. So what was your m at the beginning? If you only had one block, then that's your physical system. And that one block went down. So it lost gravitational potential energy. I tend not to think of that as one block. Even though you only see one block, I know that other one's sitting there. I think of it as, well, here's a block and here's another one. I'm about to move this one over and put it on top of it. So I think of the initial physical system as, I mean, I think of the physical system as both blocks. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Both of them went down. So whether you think of it as the first block that's on there as your physical system, you can't change the physical system between beginning and end. If, if you're doing that, then you're not going analy- to analyze the energies right. Because you're throwing away some, some information about beginning and end if you change your physical system in the middle. So keep the physical system the same. Think of the lower block at the beginning and the end. What did it do? It went down. Or think of the higher block at the beginning and the end. I was pretty careful to say that I just moved the higher block sideways so that just in case you got worried about where the other block came from, well, it was right here and it didn't change its height until I let go and then it also went down. So the higher block went down, the lower block went down, the two blocks, if you think of them together, both of them went down. Gravitational potential energy is in fact the thing that went down. Other things Kinetic energy, I was pretty careful to say that, that they weren't moving at the beginning and, and they're not moving at the end. So no kinetic energy at the beginning, no kinetic energy at the end. So between initial and final, there's no change in kinetic energy. Even though stuff happened in the middle, we don't care about what happens in the middle for energy conservation issues. <coughs> Any other questions about this one? before I ask you what you're probably already guessing I'm going to ask you. What energy, yeah? Could you you technically say that thermal energy of the gas changed because of the friction of the piston going down? So the first question was what energy decreased? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to, I I feel like saying the, the piston is almost frictionless. Oh, I didn't so it's not that a this big deal. A new this is this is the the this is a new question. The first question is what energy decreased, and in thinking about thermal energy and thinking about friction, uh, you know, I've already said it more than once now. If if there's friction in the problem, it's likely that thermal energy is going to go up. So. So, should I even ask this question? I'm going to. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I'm going to ask the question anyway. Except I'm only going to give you a minute. 